Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and uh, review of the Clam Case Pro for your iPad Air. That's your iPad 1 and here you can see I have a iPad Air 1. Um, this is a Bluetooth keyboard case for your iPad Air. Go ahead and open it up here so I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It's a nice uh, soft foamy back to protect the hard plastic on the clam case. As you can see it's kind of like a hard plastic. Um, go ahead and take it out of the case here. The see says clam case. It's a nice hard plastic with an aluminum back. Um, nice and smooth. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, there you have your um, lightning port. And here you have your micro uh, USB port to I can get to charge it. Um, you got your volume rockers, your up and down. So here on the flip side you have your um, power button, your mic slot, and your headphone jack plug with your on off switch for your keyboard case. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's inside below this here it says micro USB charger so this is your charger on the inside um, it's always nice to have extras I have a whole bunch of these um, you use this to charge your um, your keyboard case put this to the side go and open up and see if there's anything else here in this um, box there's nothing else in the box. Put the box to the side. Here you have the case. I'm going to go ahead and open it up to show you what it looks like on the inside. I got it upside down. And it's, uh, it's very nice. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and move this protector for your keyboard here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's nice. There's a nice, nice feel to it. Um, almost feels like your MacBook Air. Um, the keys are really nice. Gives you a nice feedback. Um, they're very well spaced. Right here we have our, um, I'm guessing your instruction manual for your Clam Case Pro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's just like a quick start guide, quick start manual for your um, clam case. Um, it's probably the only one in there. It's not very much to a keyboard case. Um, shows you what you need to do, all your orientations, your on off switch, um, your key functions, and all that good stuff to get you going once you get it out of the box. I'm put this to the side here, remove this other piece of um, <coughs> protective paper. Um, it's a nice printed paper um, protecting the um, iPad side of the keyboard case. Um, not very much to it. I'm guessing this is this is all that's in here. We'll see what's on the back here. See if there's anything else in there. Um, I'm guessing not, because I'm guessing um, that last manual is the only thing in here. And it was right. There's nothing in there. Just fold it nicely. All right, and here you have the keyboard. Um, it's really really nice feels pretty durable it's a real nice hard plastic has a nice click to it once you um, um, open it and close it to the hinge in the back you have your three uh, stands so it doesn't sit flat on surfaces and doesn't scratch it up um, <clears throat> real nice um, very well made it's a hard plastic and aluminum surface so the keyboard is um, <clears throat> has an aluminum surface but the back is actually made of hard plastic the the hinge is very strong it feels very durable um, i'm gonna go ahead here and um try to fit the um, ipad air in there so you can see the the fit and the lineup remove my case here um i'm guessing you're gonna have to try to um uh, line it up with the the camera so i'll do camera to camera that's the easy way to figure it out camera to camera or power button to power button kind of like slide in there till it perhaps um, snaps into place um, doesn't quite fit this way maybe if I slide it um, 
Oh yeah, they, they, it looks like you have to slide it from the bottom because this is a kind of a small little lip. There's <clears throat> a small lip on there where you um, slide it in and fits into place. So it feels pretty good. Snapped in um, right away. It's not very much work to it. Go ahead and close it up. Try to see the fit. Make sure it's all lined up. And when you open it and walk around or something, your iPad doesn't fall out. So it's nice, feels nice and snug. Um, there's no gap, you can't really see the iPad anywhere. Um, it's nice and flush, nice and, and level. It looks pretty good, feels pretty good. And it's actually not that heavy with the iPad in there. It feels just like an iPad. So the case is pretty light by itself. <clears throat> so here we're gonna go ahead and um, try to sync it up. You're gonna turn it on, on the clamp case, and then go into settings and once you get in there, um, the iPad should automatically find the Bluetooth next to it. And here you see we got the clamp case and it's already it's already synced up to the case. It's all connected. So I'm going to go ahead here now and um, see um, the key functions. So that's your dedicated home button. <clears throat> and if you hold it down, it actually takes you to Siri. The next one is your spotlight search and you have your volume rockers so it's pretty much um, <clears throat> it's pretty much almost like a regular keyboard except you don't have the F functions um, I'm gonna go to here and go to pages and see what the keys how the keys feel and how they type um, like I said before they feel pretty good they feel really nice kind of like um, your MacBook Air um, has a nice feedback to it it's very well spaced. Um, my hands feel pretty good here. Don't feel cl cluttered and small or anything on here. It's pretty nice for typing. Um, you hit your home button and you're out of there. Um, gonna go ahead here and show you some of the orientations. Um, here you got your um, your landscape mode. So if you want to watch a movie or something like that, you can just flip it to the landscape mode. If you just want to use the iPad um, as a regular iPad. You can go ahead and do that there. Go here, go to YouTube, and if you want to watch a video like that or something like that, it's very nice. Very nice case, very steady. It'll work very well for watching movies and stuff like that. Go ahead and flip it here into your portrait mode. And as you can see, it, it, it looks like an iPad, feels like an iPad. You just have the keyboard on there, which is not too bad. Um, feels very well, not not as nice and slim as an iPad but you know it works if you want to use it as an iPad then you can you know go ahead and take it out but um, it feels nice my hands are not touching the keys when it's in the, la in the in portrait mode so it works nice um, has nice orientations so all in all it's a nice nice pretty case um, it feels pretty good I would uh, recommend it I'm not sure of the battery life, but it gives you about 8 hours of battery life from the instructions. Thanks for watching.